let me start off by telling you this. If I've traveled back three years and told myself, you're going to be successful in school, graduate on honor roll, and, I, and end your high school career by giving a speech in front of thousands of people, I would simply smile, give myself a pat on the shoulder, and say, no, you got the wrong person. <laughs> See, about the time when I was in sixth grade, I was struggling on the relationship with my mom. We became more distant little by little. We would have that late night argument and we would pick fights. Our home situation was unstable. About the time from my fifth grade year to my freshman year, I moved probably five times. My last move was probably my best move yet, which is back in Marina Valley. That's when I was kind of getting real. See, within these moves, I had pressure of going to a new school, so I hung out with the wrong crowd. My thinking turned negative, and I was not clear on what I wanted to do with my life. On a good day, I thought, hey, maybe I could be a teacher or a veterinarian. But on the bad days, all I could see myself in the future was being a high school dropout. The most important concern in my life was taking care of my brothers and sisters while my mom was out reliving her youth. Although I was trying to stay and be the adult for the siblings, for my mom, I mean, for my brothers and sisters. I was still acting out in school and at home because I had no purpose or motivation. Late in my junior year, me and my mom had one of those late night arguments. She said she was better off without me, and she kicked me out her door. This was the time that I learned that when most doors shut, there's more wide open. The first door that happened to be Open was back in Moreno Valley. I reconnected with the family that welcomed me with open arms. They were my neighbors back when I was in seventh grade, so they had an idea of what my mom was like. I always said I was going to live with them in the future, but I was always joking around at the time. I was house hop when I got kicked out, I was house hopping for about a good month or two because nobody would take me in. Finally, Sean and Heidi popped in my mind, and I've called them, and now I've been living with them for a little over a year. From there, I finished my junior year at my home high school. It didn't really quite work out because the counselors were a little overworked and couldn't get my official transcripts from my other schools. All of this prevented me from keeping track of my transcripts and not knowing for sure of the classes that I needed. I knew in my heart that if I wanted to graduate, I had to look elsewhere. So March Mountain has always been on my radar because I knew that that school was designed to help students catch up on their credits. My senior year, I started March Mountain. Mind you, I was still struggling to get real. Lucky for me, the school had gotten real too. You may wonder why I keep using the word real. Let me explain. I found, that on, I found out that in 2010, March Mountain High School was identified as a struggling school. They applied for a school improvement grant. And after this grant, they told me that the staff, after they got this grant, they told me that the staff decided that it was time to get real. Real is an acronym. Resources, achievement. Resources, environment, achievement, lifelong learners. And this year, they just added the S for students. The Reels program is powered by teacher-led committees. And the idea is to let teachers and staff decide on their own the best way to open the real doors for students. It worked. It opened many doors for me, and I can honestly say that's why I'm here today. My first semester, I was at March Mountain. I took a class called Life Management. Let's see, I just left my mom. My dad wasn't in the picture. I mean, he was in the picture, but when it came down to the point, he left me hanging. I was also experiencing the real world by force, so my li so life management sounded just about right. Right off the bat, you could tell my teacher, Miss Smith, cared for his students. I came into that class one way and left as a changed person. The first thing she said to us was, I am not here to tell you what you should do or how to live your life, but in this class what you will learn is the best decisions you can make about yourself and your life. At first, it was getting me mad because I thought the choices she was telling us was them. Like, think positive, it'll change your attitude, or I'll just look on the bright side. And not to use the word try or should, because that's giving advice, and advice is bad. <laughs> but little by little, these exercises helped me change my actions. I felt happier. I would wake up saying, oh, I'm tired of school. But at the same time, I would have a smile on my face because I knew it would all be worth it at the end when I get my diploma. 
And also using the word try, well, replacing the word try and should with I am gave me more willpower. In my peer leadership class, I realized that advice is just gonna make the other person feel low and like I'm better than them. But what I did not realize, that before in 2010, March Mountain did not offer this type of class. It turns out that one of the reels committees, the resource committees, came up with the idea and started it. They also developed a plan to help families communicate with their students and held a parent night called Surviving the Teenage Years, where, te where teens and parents had typical interactions, so it wasn't, tip it wasn't quite your parent night. So as you can see, I was already learning how to be a leader. The door opened for me when I joined ASD, the Associate Student Body. After taking life management, I had a newfound confidence and decided to run for ASD president. I won. <laughs> Thank you. We did a lot this year. It opened a lot of doors for me. We held charity drives for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We did the Angel Bins, which is a clothing drive. We did, oh, we participated in a Read Across America where we went to the young, the young kids and we read to them. We also did the blood drives and opened student stores every day. So they, that gave me more confidence. I wanted to celebrate our school, so one of our focuses became updating our yearbook. When I was a freshman, every year I saw that the seniors took pictures in their cap and gowns. I looked forward to that, and it was a tradition for all the high schools. So when I found out that March Mountain didn't have that, I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty mad. <laughs> When I joined your book, we agreed to right the wrong. So now all seniors wear their cap and gowns. Yeah. <laughs> Another update we did was up until this year, we had to use hardcover, well, paper cover, which looked cheap. We may be a continuation school, but we're not different than any regular high school. So now we have hardcover. These doors were opening for me, but what I did not know was that they were being unlocked by a powerful teacher-led reels committee. Turns out the ASB and your book were just a few ideas that had been born in the environment committee. But my teachers didn't want me to just have fun. They wanted me to set goals. My first day on campus, I got my schedule and saw that on Wednesdays I had this thing called advisory. Never heard of it before. <laughs> in this class, we discuss all things related to being on track to graduate. Because of this class, I discovered that I still had transcripts that had not been transferred to March Mountain. Without these transcripts, I was being placed, I was being placed into classes that already passed. My advisory teacher, Ms. Alexander, was able to work with the register and get these credits moved over from the other district and on, entered onto my transcripts. That lifted a huge weight off my shoulder. But it also allowed me to take classes to help open more doors to my future. Thanks to the Achievement Committee, I started to learn more about the, what I wanted to do with my life. My third quarter, I found a class, Law for Everyday Living, and a teacher, Ms. Cardos. If I would have passed up that class, I probably wouldn't have been the brightest crown in the Crayola box. So, our teacher introduced us to a number of guest speakers, including our on-campus resource officer. After talking to him, I realized that I had a passion for helping kids like me and get them more right on track. So juvenile probation officer sounded like a thing you could do. But this is just one of the doors that opened for me. And one of the possibilities I'm considering, I realized that there are so many opportunities for me. And my teachers and counselors have been there to help me open these doors. My teacher, Ms. Alexander, who is here with me today, tells me that these career presentations and guest speakers were not part of the school program. Lifelong Learners Committee stepped in but because of these educators at March Mountain are empowered to offer more personalized learning opportunities, their students, that means me, have more chances to get real about their future. So this is what my future looks like. I'm still, I'm still deciding how to spend my summer. I could prefer for college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Study for the ASVAB, enlist in the Navy, 
or maybe into go, maybe go into the job corps. But my point is I have a lot of options. And right now I'm speaking to you, but that's a good thing because I'm gaining math skills on writing, giving speeches. <laughs> Some of these skills stems from the work I did and every class became better writers was focused on the student committee who was designed, who was designed a series of writing prompts throughout the year that would test us on our writing. The student committee shared our progress with all teachers and our subjects. So they would see how we're doing and what our strengths and weaknesses were. All this time making sure that no door would ever be closed to us because we lacked skills. I didn't realize that when I started my senior year at March Mountain that these real committees would help me discover who I am today and what my potential is. The committees are filled with teachers, administrators, and even my friends who opened the doors to my future, enabling me to run through the doors to reach my goals. Who knew that when I got kicked out of the age of 17, it would have been the catalyst to the new me. Now, if I traveled back three years and told myself, you're gonna be successful in school, graduate on honor roll, end your high school career by giving a speech in front of thousands of people, I would simply smile, give myself a pat on the shoulder and say, of course I did, I got real. Yeah. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> 